Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and I would just like to note: look at this. Look at a look at Ada's badass scarf flowing in the non-existent wind effect. And now it's time to continue onward. So, welcome back to some more Resident Evil Four: Separate Ways. Uh oh. Okay. I was about to run forward, and then I noticed that he had a lit stick of dynamite. But yes, last episode we got knocked out while trying to save Leon and almost sacrificed. Luckily, Ada's a ninja. And now it's time to continue onward and see if we can't still save Leon from whatever terrible fate is going to befall him with or without the happy mask salesman being involved. So you got the iron key. Alright. Let's see. You can try and activate the lifts. I know where I'm going, so I'm just like speed running through this a bit, but looks like the lift needs a key to activate it. So these lifts aren't even working. Which I feel now stupid because I played through this twice and I never noticed that the lift actually just was not moving. So I feel really dumb. I just always just was like, well, you try to get on it and it says it's not moving. Well, no, it's actually showing you that it's not moving. I just never noticed because I'm not very attentive, I guess. I don't pay much attention to stuff in action games. I'm too busy focusing on the combat. I need to find a key. Kind of like this one I've already got. And now we go down this path into this barn once more for an epic showdown against Chief Mendez. Oh, who am I kidding? Like I said, Ada does not get cool bosses. She gets very few bosses. Kind of disappointing. And there's your red cat's eye. I think that's what I never found in the main campaign. I still don't know where to find the red cat's eye. But you can go in here. And there's the other Bella sister. Like, this is as close as you get to a boss of this chapter. There's another Bella sister. And you just mow them down like it's no big deal. It's not even that hard, even if you just have the basic guns, because... Basic guns, like the bosses with like the bosses like that, where it's like the chainsaws. You just shotgun stun lock them. It's not that difficult. Like the enemies themselves are kind of scary, but you just stun lock your way out of it. Kind of playing unfair, but might as well. Hmm? Is there an enemy somewhere? Ah, there was one more guy in here. Just one more. And that just shuts off the creepy music. So I'm going to leave all the ammo alone so Leon can have some ammo when he gets here. In the future. Besides infinite ammo, you don't need any bullets. Will you guys stop following me? Just stop. I mean, I'm sure Ada is grateful for the, all the attention. I'm sure she's happy people recognize her greatness. But it's got to be annoying that you guys show up absolutely everywhere. I'm going to let that take care of you. The blast radius. Like, I'm pretty sure that if dynamite goes off and a Ganado is anywhere in the blast radius, it just instant kills him. Ow. Why'd you hit me? It's not very nice. You're not supposed to treat ladies like that, don't you know? Hello? Goodbye. Now to activate that stupid lift. Gotta take the quick way. Leap through the window. Like a ninja. Operate. It needs a key. Well, it just so happens we got a key. You used the key. The lifts are activated. It's great. We can progress now. But first, hello there, stranger. Welcome. Let's sell some Your stuff. Make some selling? money. Ammo is I don't need. Am right, well, ammo I don't need. Grenades I don't need. Grenades would actually probably all? be useful, but infinite ammo. That speaks for itself. Three spinals, all? ruby, <laughs> pocket watch. <laughs> cat's Eye, Cat's Eye, Beerstein, Full Mask, 20k Gold Bangle. Yeah, and then Beerstein, I need to find the yellow one. 
I believe, yeah, I know where come the yellow one is, never mind. Time. And then I'll combine the yellow and show off the full price of that since I couldn't in the main campaign. And I don't actually know myself because this is the first time I've gotten the beer stein in separate ways. Because, like, like I said, it's really, really well hidden that you have to actually turn around. It's like the thing that messed me up so badly in the forest temple in Ocarina of Time. Is that you have to freaking turn around and go back. Like, it's... what? The whole point of games like this and like that are to go forward. So when they tell you to go backwards, it's really disorienting. Alright, gotta scout around the back of the house and look for treasure. Treasure? Treasure. TMP ammo? That'd be treasure if I had a TMP. And needed ammo. But I don't have either. Don't have the TMP or a need for ammo. Here's a typewriter. What do we got? Treasure? TMP ammo. I do approve of TMP ammo having a wolf on the cover, though. Even though it's called Jackal. Because I'm pretty sure that's a gray wolf or a timber wolf on the cover and not an actual jackal. What are you hiding from me in that box, sir? Money? Thank you for the money. I will take that money, and I will continue with it. And if you recognize this from the main campaign, we get to go the El Gigante route. Beautiful. Luckily, infinite ammo. Because, yes, they do make you fight it. It's kind of funny, they actually had... Multiple, multiple El Gigante. Because you have the first El Gigante, and then the El Gigante you fight here, and then the double El Gigante is back on, uh, was that castle. And just so much El Gigante. And then Ada's about to kill one here. Take? Was that spinal? Okay. It's important you go to this one, I think. If you have the treasure maps, it'll just mark with a star everywhere you need to be. But exploring can get you the same. First aid spray, yellow cat's eye. There it is. And now time to combine. Spinal? No, don't care about the spinal. I care about Spinal the skeleton pirate, but not Spinal the jewel. And now we have full beer stein. Yay. Never gotten to do that before. It's a first on recording. Not really that special, though. Because once again, very few people are watching this. Like, three people are watching this now. Because you've got my two friends, Battlerman and uh, Shamsy, and then one guy in the comments was like, I'm watching it. So we have three people confirmed watching this. So great. Hopefully we can get a few more viewers, maybe like five for the next Let's Play, just because it's such an epic game. Just fall over. That's it. You're nothing special. 10,000 pesetas. Take the herb. Let's go. Ada has got places to be, and she would like to be there. I forgot some. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. Looks like we just missed out on helping with the siege. Hey, senorita. Got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where is the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. But I could tell you, we're a group of super elite I, I gun ninjas. Out to save the world from itself. As you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. And then Luis just walks off because he's Luis. <sighs> it's kind of funny though, like, he just walks out of the house and he sees a woman off to the side and he's like, Hey, senorita, what's up? It's like, that's where your priorities are, Luis? Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. 
It was a stroke Such an interesting luck. character for them to just kill him off. Help. It's disappointing. It seems he can't trust the police, so he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I would normally like talk through the cutscenes and stuff, but Luis is an awesome character, and that's like the only place they flesh him out. You have to play separate ways to get to know more about the awesome Luis Serra, who's so cool that he knows to buy the Red Nine. It's just weird. Like, they just, I'm sad they got rid of Luis. Main game, you learn nothing about him, and then separate ways, you just get that little dossier on him. And now it's time for a showdown! Where I can see them. Sorry, but following a so when exactly did we pick up our exploding flashbang sunglasses? Still awesome, even though we know exactly how this ends. But this time we get to be on the losing end of it. Bit of advice try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. Ada, so you true. mean? True. Even though About I keep saying Ada, just because I slip, it's like, working with I don't know. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> because I'm a ninja. Ninjas are everywhere. See you around. Ada! Still sad that they failed to make him say, Ada, wait! No references to Resident Evil 2 Luis for you. succeeded in recovering the sample. He's waiting in the castle. Get in contact with him ASAP. Understood. And that U.S. government lapdog, Leon. If you do happen to encounter him, put him out of commission. We can't let him interfere with our plans. He has no idea what's going on. He's nothing we need to worry about. He's a survivor of... Leon's Red nothing. City. He's just going to wind up sa saving the entire world anyways. Take him out. Take him out? I don't think she wants to do that. Leon. Chapter 3. Retrieve the sample. Alright, now we get to do what we came here to do. Because the rest of the things were pretty much just Ada saving Leon. Welcome. So let's see how much the completed beer stein is worth. Shotgun shells. Thank you. Eggs? You will give me an egg. Is that all? Full beer stein is twenty. That's pretty nice. What are you buying? And then I need to go and buy the bow gun. So, about the bow gun. It's an interesting weapon. Only Ada can use it. And it fires very these very, very rare bowgun bolts. But it's a very powerful weapon because the bowgun bolts actually explode. So they're re like it's a really good weapon against bosses. But it's not very good against basic enemies. Let's see. 
All you need to do here for this maze section is just get out. But you can wander around and get some treasures and whatnot. And that guy had a spider plugus. I really hate the spider plugus. Kind of like how I can't reiterate how difficult this campaign is on the first run through because of like the limited weapons and the difficult enemies and whatnot. Also can't reiterate enough how much I hate the spider plugus because like you kill them and then they get the spider head and then you kill them again and the spider detaches and you have to kill them for a third time. It's like, is that really necessary? Not really, but they do it anyways. And there's no reason to search the maze. Just need to check this door. It won't open, it's locked. You better check somewhere else. And you need to get up to the center platform here. And that's it, really. That's what you do. It's a bit boring compared to Leon's version of the maze where we're sitting here searching for halves of the, the fire emblem. Well, that wasn't the fire emblem, but I'm, I don't know. I got lost again. And then look, I just tear through two phases of the spider plugus, and the spider plugus just jumps off. It's like, who thought this was a good idea? Like, what? Who who came up with the spider plugus? Because I would like to meet them and then slap them in the face. Of course, I wouldn't actually slap them. I'm a nice guy. Too nice for that. But I would tell them off for that. It's like, dude, what the hell were you thinking with that? That was a terrible idea. Spider Plagas, what's wrong with you? And here we are. Grab the yellow herb back there, I didn't mention what I was doing. Oh, your gold bangle with pearls. Err. Alright. Oh, that's right, I remember now. You don't have to go up there. What you have to do is, let's see. Gotta go over here. Or just waste a bunch of time in the maze, maybe? I don't remember how you get out. I've checked the locked door. And I just realized I've probably gone over time on this for quite a bit. But let's kill this one last round. He burned himself. He can't go plug us from that. See, that wasn't my fault. So it's not gonna activate plug us. I hope. Alright, I need to find the way out of here. I think you go here to the yellow. And then, like, check the door. That seems to be the only way I've confirmed how to do that, is you just go check the door. It works, so... Can't really complain. They're like, I've got a dodge maneuver. They, like, duck and dodge to the left, and it doesn't help any. Freaking spider plug us. Stop it. Fall over and die. See, that's what I like in my game, enemies. I like for them to actually die when I kill them. People need to die when they are killed. And I've already forgotten where that's from. Disappointed in myself. And you can go this normal way. Where Leon went to through the bedroom and then out through like the dining hall and whatnot. But we're going to take the long way because if you remember where the Killer 7 was, or not the Killer 7, the Broken Butterfly, you can go get something for Ada where the Broken Butterfly was. No, you don't get a Magnum, but it is loot and you can go get it. But we're going to do that next episode. So this has been Jet Lane 1 and I will see you next time as we continue on as Ada. See you then.